when you have like, that should be all in your Bible. Like this should be the like you know if you are a Muslim, this should be the Quran and the Forty Eight Laws of Power. If you were a Christian, it should be the Bible and the Forty Eight Laws of Power. If you a street nigga, it should just be the Forty Eight Laws of Power. Right? <laughs> if you a corporate shark, it should be the Forty Eight Laws of Power. Period. But um, it's yeah. kind of like Machiavellianism, right? Yeah, like basically they take some of the shit out of there too. But like the beauty of that book, it ain't like a bunch of just fluff. It's like actual examples from history where a motherfucker in history followed the law and came up, or a person <laughs> broke the law and lost their life in ancient times. And as you get closer to like the more modern era, 20th century, business wise, people might have lost their whole fortune rather than their life as opposed to ancient times because they failed to follow a certain law. So like one of the joints for like um never say more than necessary. Or should I say the, the law always say less than necessary. And that That's in that particular gym. There was a, a, a story of, well, really, there was two stories. So the following of the law was an up-and-coming, you know, movie director, producer nigga who um, had some ideas for some movies. So he approached in 1920 at a, one of the early Hollywood parties. He came in there as a nobody. He went to the, he approached the owner of Paramount. And he said, yeah, I got an idea for this movie. It's and talking about this and this, and the guy said, beat it, fuck out of here, basically. So instead of being a weak nigga, all he did was go and talk to the head of MGM with the lion. Because they both of them was around, both of them was like the early two big joints in the 20, you know, 1920s type shit. He go over to that head of that studio and he says, Yeah, I just got finished talking to the head of Paramount about a potential movie deal for some movies I got ideas and then dude cut him off he said say no more whatever he offered you I double it yeah. had, had he kept talking he would have talked himself out of the deal because he probably would have said I tried to get pitch my idea to this guy but he just shut me down but luckily the, the executive cut him off before he could finish his statement he thought that because he was talking to that dude, the head of Paramount, that he had interest in him, which is why he said, well, whatever he's offering you, I'll double the money. And that's why that uh, producer ended up fucking with MGM Studios. Mm. Yeah. So that's where a motherfucker followed the law indirectly, because he, he didn't obviously know, but the people who documented history and applied these laws to different situations, like this nigga right here, check, he could, he did the assignment. Now, the nigga who failed the assignment, we have to go back to the time of King Louis XIII and some nigga who was spicy at the mouth was talking shit, which is why his ass was in prison by the king in the first place, and he was sentenced to be hung, like, that next day. So... They send your man down to the courtyard for the town people to see. They, they build in the little joint that they about to make him walk up so they can yank the court and hang his ass. And as he get up there, the, yeah, King Louis is up in his little, you know, tower in the castle. And he getting a change of heart. He like, you know, that was my man's, you know. He said some shit out of pocket. You know, maybe I'm doing too much by hanging him. You know what? I'm going to spare his life. So that's happening up in the tower. Down on the motherfucking uh, joint, whatever you call it, where he about to get, you know, hung, this nigga's like, he talking shit that, you know, I could I could still relate because most niggas, if you about to get killed, you might as well talk all your shit on the way out. Man, fuck that nigga and fuck you and fuck you. He a bitch ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga is running it up. Like, he talking all the... He doing the most. He said, that nigga is a cheap motherfucker. These ropes is cheap. He cheap. His whole kingdom is, is fake. He a fake king. All this shit. And word... Oh, the messages, the courier ran from down there all the way up into the castle. 
and told the, the king. And the king was like, I was about to spare this nigga a life. He's saying that I'm cheap and that the ropes is cheap and that I'm cheap. He said, hold. He postponed the whole fucking hanging and spared no expense and spent, like, whatever bread, like, eight times the normal amount on the finest ropes that could be found throughout Europe and Asia, purchased these high-quality ropes to hang this nigga with, and was like, is that is that um, expensive enough for you, nigga, before they yanked the shit on that whole nigga who was, ah, <laughs> he was saying too that much. That is crazy. Yep. So that's a person who broke the law. But wasn't he going to get hung anyway? No. So if you peep the beginning of ah. this story, Louis the 13th his boy, was his boy to change your heart. Yeah, his boy was like, nah, that's my nigga. Like, I'm not like, going to do that. He was dude. like, maybe I'm tripping. I should have condemned him to death. Go down there and, and free him or whatever. So one courier is going down there to free him. Another courier that, or, you know, one of your people that's down there live on the hanging deck is like, what? You talking greasy about Shay? What? So they run back up and tell you, or they tell the nigga who just came down, yo, spare, spare that nigga. And then yeah, the nigga tell you, nah, what? That nigga was talking mad greasy about you. He said you was a cheap bitch and all this, and you a whole ass bitch, and nah, 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 nah. And you like, man, what the fuck? You run the, so then the, the word get back to you. You like, man, fuck that nigga. <laughs> Matter of fact, yo, get some Versace ropes. Tell them niggas. <laughs> Get some goddamn Gavinci ropes, nigga. We gonna hang this nigga with the finest ropes ever made, nigga. Talk about these some cheap ass ropes. What law is this? That was the law of always say less than necessary. Mm. Yup. 